Would you ever run for president again? No, no. But I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that we have a president who respects our democracy and the rule of law and upholds our institutions. What if Donald Trump runs again? He should be soundly defeated. It should start in the Republican Party. Grow a backbone. Stand up to this guy. And heaven forbid, if he gets the nomination, he needs to be defeated roundly and sent back to Mar-a-Lago. So just to be clear, we're moving on as a country. We're not doing this again in 2024. That was definitive. Now, could a politician be lying or change their mind? Yes, that is possible. But Politicians, if they have any glimmer of like a thought that they might run, they keep it ambiguous. And they do not want to actually go on the record as saying whether they're gonna run or not. She said no, very clearly, no, she's not gonna do it. And so we can now move on to what should still be a vigorous primary in the 2024 season, but one in which there will not be the shadow cast over it by Hillary Clinton returning to you know, sort of hold down the centrist wing of the Democratic Party or whatever. So JR, I think we're good, what do you think? I think, I was trying to remember, I feel like maybe earlier this year she was hinting at, or someone asked her and she didn't completely explicitly say no, <clears throat> the way she did there. And I would, if, if so, I was trying to look it up quickly. I was hoping if that's the case then, that means there's a shift because as you said many times if somebody's gonna run they may kind of be coy or they'll just say yeah I mean what I'm focusing on that's always the line instead of saying no mm-hmm. because then I'll be kept on record. It's what I want to focus on is actually making sure that we have reputable uh, uh, candidates in the Democratic Party and not answer the question. Then you talk for two minutes until the interviewer forgets that they can actually follow up and say, you never said yes or no. So anyway, um, that's usually the approach. Mm-hmm. But I think the fact that it's being so explicit here, yes and maybe. If previously before when she was trying to keep it, maybe maybe I could, depending on what the political winds might say. I think the political winds, when those potential speculations were happening, um, made her go, yeah, I don't think they want me. <laughs> yeah, because she could easily say, you know, I don't need to run. Joe Biden is going to be the nominee. Right. Were things to change, of of course, I would be greatly honored by the possibility of her. But she didn't leave any of that room. And again, we're not a hundred percent done with this thing. But I think, look, she in theory could have run in 2020. Like, if she really wanted to, wouldn't she have done it then? At that point, the, the chance to take it back against Donald Trump. No, I th- I think that we're good. Now that does not mean that the progressive movement is just oh great now we're great we're gonna have an awesome progressive candidate. No, there's gonna be the Buddha judges and the Kamala Harris's and we still have to fight against that sort of candidate and might well have to deal with Joe Biden. Um, but I don't think we're gonna have to worry about the Hillary Clinton thing. Which, if if you're watching this and if you were around for the 2016 election, I don't think anybody wants to go through all of that again. Anyway, she says she's gonna endorse Biden. He says he's gonna run, which he he, Mel, he might well do. She says he has the best chance of winning, which I, I don't necessarily agree. Although I do think the things that he's done recently make it a little bit easier for him to make that argument rather than being like the incumbent who got literally nothing done. And so I'm ready. To, I'm ready to move on. Yeah, at this point, he's thinking midterms. You can't have a, a sitting president that's like as midterms approach. I'm not feeling very good about my next two years in office. You know, you have to generate enough of an attention. I still don't think he's gonna go for a second term. From the very beginning, this guy said, yeah, second term, maybe not. And people were were curious about that. And I was very happy to hear him say it. Yeah, he's gonna be celebrating his 103rd birthday or something. (laughs) Like you wanna be able to like really enjoy that and not be busy with White House stuff.